in the name of the Father, and in the presence of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Far on. Nabudis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabudis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalbana with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Galtea, stand watch over your life. That I be considered worthy.
Blessings of the Great Father descend and guide your bodies return to the earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the Mother of All. There you shall find peace. Farah. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Darnaska. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmaska had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalice. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the Kingdom of Nabradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Darnaska. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmaska's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, terms of Dalmasca's surrender. Lord Ramanas, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. You there. Can you hear me? <coughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He fights to defend his homeland. Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Bosla, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Godspeed. Steady, Rex. Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. 
We move! Tom Berry, you've leave to retire. Well fought. My thanks, Ant Lion. Tom Berry disengaging.
Vosla! Where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosla's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex! Intruders! Don't let them escape! Sir, we have little time. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well.
majesty. Captain, why? Our king, what have you done? The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... Seize the insurgent. Hello! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful Peace negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, Captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Rabanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms, raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty, King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer, too, for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty, King Raminas, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain, traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. They'll find us. I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. One, two, three more. All right. Time to clean house. Yeah. Yourself? Guess I know who to call when something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. 
That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops, <laughs> totally forgot. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. What's where you're going, churl? Oh, my pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! It's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? <sighs> We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're rotting in a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. Nello said you needed something? Um, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble on the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert teams are in trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. 
No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kipes to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Ah. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kites back. What do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... Whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. We've got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand. What's stopping our couriers? And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right. Vaughn, you should give it a shot. And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right.
You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. <sighs> Move along, boy. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this.